Hey guys, and welcome to Django Bits. How does Django work? In this video, I will talk a little bit about the fundamentals of Django, how things are connected, and try to make you understand a little bit more on how the flow in Django is. Typically, when a user visits your website, for example, www.codewithstein.com, you are then sent to a web server. For example, G Unicorn, uh, Nginx, or Apache. And when you are going into one of these, you typically are sent to Django. So the connection goes from G Unicorn or the web server and into Django. And what is the first part of Django you actually hit there? That is the WSGI file. WSGI file. And this file has entry points for the web server. So if I just go and open up a project, very simple Django project, open up the folder and open up the WSGI file. Um, ASGI is almost the same, but this is typically more used for web sockets and similar. So as you can see here, we just import OS, and then we import this from Django and then we set up the environment which is testing.settings and then we set up application and everything will start. So after you have visited the WSGI file or what you want to call it then you are sent into the settings file and when you get into the settings file let's open up that and inspect it um, Django will find the root URL configuration and the root URL configuration can be found here testing.urls before I continue I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons if you too want to support me you will find a link in the description below let's just add it into the flow urls.py and then the URL will try to match one of these patterns down here Let's add one more here, for example, path empty. If you go to an um, empty page, views.index. And then from core.views import index. So that is the next step. Try to match one of these and see which of the views Django should return to the user. So let's say that we get a match on this one. Then we go into views.py inside the core to find the index view. So if I open up core, I will then see the views.py file here. Uh, let's just create one very basic view. def index request return render request and core slash index.html. So that is then the next step in the flow. So set up views.py here, views.py, the views, and when Django calls this render function, it will render this HTML file here and show it to the user. Render template. So that is basically the flow of a Django application. The web server gets or receives the traffic goes into Django where it will find the WSGI file. This then goes in and activates the settings file which then goes to the URLs file to find a match for example a contact page, about page, the front page etc. And then this path function here will find the correct view which will for example pull data from the database and similar and then render a template which will be shown in the browser. Django has more advanced feature than I have shown here. For example, if we go into settings.py, we have the middleware. Um, this is, for example, when you go into a website, it will first check the security middleware, session middleware, the common middleware, CSRF, authenticate, and then it goes through all of this to see if there are any, for example, messages to show to the user see if you are authenticated, see if the CRS values are correct, etc. So even though the flow is 
as simple as this more things are happening in the background than you think about or that you will actually experience if you have any questions about this video feel free to leave a comment below and i will answer as soon as i can see you in the next video